Good, good morning boys and girls and welcome to Tuesday morning's maths lesson. Now today you're going to need all of that tally chart information you collected on your little walk around your area of all the different coloured cars you've seen. Because today you're going to put all of the tally chart information into a bar chart. And Miss McGrath's going to do it again using her different coloured pen. She's going to create all of the information she's got from her tally chart of different pens and create a bar chart. So I'll show you exactly what you've got to do. So today you are going to be creating a bar chart which shows information, just like your tally chart did. But a bar chart is just a different way of recording that information. Now you are going to need the tally chart that you created yesterday all about your car colours. Whereas Miss McGrath is going to do her bar chart on the coloured pens that she saw yesterday. And here's my tally chart here. Now, as you can see, I've got the title, how many coloured pens? That's my title. And yours is going to have the cars one, how many coloured cars? And underneath it's got red cars, black cars, silver cars, white cars and other coloured cars. But Miss McGrath has got red pens, green pens, blue pens and orange pens because that was the information that she was collecting. Now, how am I going to know where 10 is on my bar chart? I haven't got any numbers. This is why on the y-axis, so the line which goes up, 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 is where you put your numbers. So we're going to write, you're going to have to write the numbers on each of these lines. So I'm going to write one, then I'm going to write my next one on two, then I'm going to do it three, and four on the lines, next to the lines. And then I'll sh well, now I'm going to con continue doing all of my numbers up to the top as well. Make sure you do yours too and we'll join back together. So now, when you've done your numbers all up the y-axis, then you'll be ready to start. But you really need to make sure that each number is on a line, just like Miss McGrath's done. Her 1 is on this line, her 2 is on this line, her 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 20. Each number is on a line. So hopefully yours is going to look the same as mine. Now then, this is where we're going to make our bar chart. Our bar chart goes upwards. It's going in a bar. And I've got red pens. So Miss McGrath now needs to have a look at her tally chart and have a look at the total. So I've got red pens. Five, ten. Let's check the total. I had ten red pens. So Miss McGrath's going to get a coloured pen. Doesn't matter if you do it in the same colour for all of them. And I'm going to have a look where number 10 is. 10's on this line. So I'm going to have to colour in all of this bit from 10 all the way through. Now, Miss McGrath is just going to do it briefly so you have more time. So I'm going to do it to that line. I'm going to stop there so I know I can't colour past this line. Because that tells me on my bar chart I had 10 red pens. So I look at the bottom and I go up to the top. 10 red pens. I'm going to colour all of this bit in red. Now you will do this a lot neater than Miss McGrath. It's just I want you to have more time. And you don't want a really long video of Miss McGrath doing lots and lots of colouring or you'll be here all day. Okay, so now my bar chart is telling me when you look at red, you go up, so you go across first. And you go up to 10, and that tells me I had 10 red pens when I was doing my counting. Now then, if I go across again, my x-axis, go across, 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 I've got green pens. Hmm, I can't remember how many green pens I had. I'd better go back to my tally chart and check. So, if I look at green pens, if I go across to my total, I had... Well done. I had six green pens. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to go across to green pens. That's the one I want to find out. And I'm going to go up, up, up until I get to six. There's the line for six. So I know that with my green pen, I'm going to draw across this point. Now I'm not going to draw to the red one because this is the red column. And this is the green pens column. So I'm just going to draw it from the black line to the black line. And that stops at six. That tells me I'm going to have six altogether. 
So again, I'm going to colour it in. And again, I'm not going to do it as neat as you are. I just want to make sure you've got enough time. So there. So now, if I look at my jar part bar chart, if I want to go across the x axis and I've got red pens, and I go up to the y axis, I've got ten red pens. That's what my bar chart showed me. If I go to the green pens and go up the y axis, it's telling me I've got six pens. So if I go across, the number is on six. The line stops at the number six. Let's have a look at the blue pens, shall we? Hmm. So let's go across the x axis. I've got blue pens. I can't remember how many I had. So now I'm going to get my tally chart. I found blue pens. I had five. So I'm going to go up, across my blue x, the x axis to blue pens, and I'm going to go up the lines until I find five. Are you ready to help me count? One, two, three, four, five. So that is the amount I have. So I'm going to go up to blue pens, up to five, and draw my line there. So I know that's as far as I go. Because I only had five, I can't invent other coloured pens, can I? So again, I'm going to colour that in neatly. As neatly as I can. There you are. Now, it's not very neat, but I know I want you to have a lot more time. So now then, I'm going to look at orange. And now we've got our last one to do. We have got the orange pens, because that is our last one we haven't filled in on our x-axis is the orange pens. So again, I'm going to get my tally chart. I'm going to look at orange pens, go across the total, and I know I only need four. So I'm going to the column of the orange pens, and I'm going to go up to four. One two, three, four. So I'm going to get my orange pen in the column and just draw my line here. And then again, I'm going to colour it in. It's a bit of a messy colouring, but I really want to make sure you have a lot of time. Make sure it doesn't go over like Miss McGrath just nearly did. Just like that. And then your bar chart will show you information. So if Mrs. Forshee wanted to come and have a look at your bar chart, she'd be able to go, right, for red pens, Miss McGrath had 10. For green pens, Miss McGrath had 6. For blue pens, she had, we're going up, 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 5. And for orange pens, she had 4. So your task now is to use your tally chart for the coloured cards you made yesterday. And you are going to create your bar chart as well. You've already done all your numbers up the side, but now you're going to use your colouring cranes to help you fill the rest in. Well done, children. I can't wait to see it. Great work.